So if you are a beginner and you want to make some hard beats, this is the video for you, so let's get into it. If you don't know how to use FL Studio, these four icons are the most important ones. The first one we select the playlist, where we can drag sounds, play them, or lay down patterns. So let's lay down one, and to open it we can double click or click on this icon. Now we're going to need to select a sound. So if you go here in the FL Studio stock packs, you will find the close grand piano sounds cool. And then we're going to change the sound later. To open the piano roll, we can click on this icon or right click and select piano roll. Without going too in depth about it, by right clicking here, we need to select a scale. Each root note will sound different. So let's select D and use the minor natural. We use that 90% of the times. Now just lay down a fast melody using a lot of tissue notes that are only one semitone apart. Just click and find something that sounds good. Now we can select and using shift duplicate it. And here we create some variation changing bounce a bit. Okay, this sounds good. Now we need a different sound. So let's open Flex, that is a stock VST that has some good sounds. Cut the melody and paste it here. Spend more time searching the sound because it's really important. Ooh, I really this one. Let's pitch it up using the control and up arrow, so it has the same notes. Yeah, this sounds good. Now we can add some effects on this, so link this to a channel and here add some effects. There are a lot of free plugins, but I suggest to download Free Micro that does this. Yeah, that's good. Now let's copy this a couple of times and click Ctrl C to transform this pattern into audio. This can look scary, but I always reverse it and then clicking on this two arrow icon, we can stretch it. And select stretch here. Since I don't really like how it ends, let's cut it here using the cut tool and just copy this using Ctrl B. And find a better pitch. As you can hear, we have some clicking, so let's select generic bleeding. If it's still not working, just select everything and create a fade in and fade out, but make sure to select this icon. Yeah, that sounds good. Now we can click on the plus icon and create a new pattern. Make this longer and we can add some bass notes since they are really common in this piece. So let's select again the close grand piano. But what note should we use? Well, if you double click here, we went up 500 cents, as you can see in the top left corner. It means that from D, we went up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So right now it's in G. So let's right click here and select G. Go to a lower octave and place the notes. Let's lower the velocity of the upper note. Now we will need a counter melody. So let's clone the piano, since it always works, and create a really simple melody, again using these two notes that are only one semitone apart. And let's make the velocity higher, that basically means the volume. And let's copy this. Now let's pitch this up and add some effects on it, like some reverb and some delay too. And lower the mix with this knob. 
Now it's already time to add some drums. I'm going to use the drums from the Imperial Multi Kit. And if you want to check it out, the link is in the description. In my website, you will find also a lot of free stuff. So let's start with some highs. We need some sharp ones. Right click and select fill each two steps. We will need a clap or a snare. For these beats, I like to use snares. And always use this spot. So we can select this and click Ctrl B. Let's add also some rolls on the hi-hats. Let's click on this magnet icon and select one third step. Make sure to play with the velocity to have a nicer effect. Add also lower rolls to add a super trap kind of bounce. Usually before the clap rolls sound really good. Now let's delete this and copy it over. Click Alter to randomize the pen and the velocity. Now we can already add the 808. In this type of beats we use a lot the speeds. Now make sure to right click and select cut itself so the notes won't overlap. And we can add a soft clipper on the master to make the 808 some more distorted and avoid clipping. So since we were in G, let's place a note in G. This doesn't sound bad but let's try to pitch it down to D sharp that are 4 semitones down. So we can go down here and also with the bass notes. Here you always need to use the root note. But at the end, you can also try to switch it up. Usually, this note sounds good. Okay, let's copy this and create some variation at the end. Right now, the 808 doesn't sound that good. It's because we need to mix all the melodies. So let's link everything to a mixer channel. I'm using random numbers by the way. And mix all the melodies at around 12 dB. On the bass notes, we will need to remove the low end using the parametric EQ. We can just do something like this and use the mouse wheel to play with the curve. Yeah, this sounds good. Now let's split by channel, so all our piano rolls are divided. And let's copy all of these a couple of times. So let's start with an intro. And to create variation, try to make your main melody unique and pitch it down one octave. You can use this second pitch knob. So yeah, that was the really simple beat, now it's up to you to make it sound unique and add your own sound to it. And if you are a beginner and want to learn how to make beats faster, I just released a course and if you want to check it out, the link is in the description. But the discount will end in 10 days, so don't miss out.